Something very exciting was starting this week's vlog. Best purchase, oops, sorry, carts, ever. There goes carts poo over my head. I feel like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> Today on the show, children. This is so cute. Come here, we need to tell everyone what we're starting this week's vlog with. Come. I've just realised, guys, that I'm sitting on the floor and I've not been back at this house for like a month. <laughs> And if you can see little pieces everywhere, the floor is disgusting. You certainly need a cleaner to come in. We need a cleaner, don't we? Or maybe you can go and eat up all the bit. So good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. If you watched last week's, you would have saw that I said at the end of the vlog that something very exciting was starting this week's vlog. Can you tell us what it is? No, because you're a dog. So, I did some content on my Instagram, if you didn't see it, I'll pop my Instagram down below, go and check it out. About six months ago where Carter, well we made it look like Carter bought my Mercedes G-Wagon. And I thought the content did so well and it was so funny, that I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get Carter his own car. So, should we show everyone what we've got? I ordered, oh, oh God, how are we gonna do this? Let's move the coffee, because I know what I'm like, I'm gonna spill it everywhere. I ordered, oh let's see if we can get it out. Ah! Oh, I ordered Carter a Lamborghini. Obviously not a real one. I don't know how this is going to go down. I've not even tested to see if he fits me there. But I kind of thought it'd be cool for him to have his own car and kind of outdo me and get a better car than mine. So we haven't actually used it yet. But this is Carter's very own car. Now, <laughs> on the website, they're like, do you want it set up before it comes? You had to pay quite a pricey fee to have it already set up. And I was like, oh, I haven't got time to be screwing and everything, have I? And I'm so glad I did, because when I read the instructions when I got it, there was so many points to it. I mean, there's USP things in USP? USB things in here. There's like so much kind of electric, so I was like, I would have been here for years trying to set this thing up. But, cut a look. I even got it customised with his number plate on the back. So it said, look, it's yours. It's yours. And his number plate on the front. Let's see. Should we get you in? Should we do it go? We've got you a little remote control. Not a treat, so I don't know if you're excited or if you think it's a treat. Let's see how it starts. Ah! Wow! Oh my god, this is so cool. I wish I was small enough to fit in it myself. Right, I'm gonna get him in and then let's see. Where's my coffee gone? Oh, it's not gonna spill this. Right, let's put you in and see how it goes. So the reason why I got this as well is because today I'm creating another piece of content. Obviously, Carter going out to buy this. I'm not going to be putting the content here. So if you don't want to go and check it out, again, go and check out my Instagram. That is where it will be. Right, let's see if you fit in. God, I've had it all set up. I don't even think I'll get my money back if it doesn't sit in it. Right. Oh, sit in. It said, let's sit down. Oh my God. Oh no. It's too big. Sit down. No, 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 no. Wait. <laughs> Sit. Sit your bum and then you'll fit in. Why are you... Right, go there. As we should have... It said for the ages of three to six and I thought Carter was certainly not bigger than a three-year-old. Right, can you sit your bum? Right. Are you sitting now? There you go. There we go. Purchase, oops, sorry, cuts ever. 
inside. Go on then. Yeah. Is that fun? Is that fun? Ooh. Well, that was the five minutes of an expensive car. Did you enjoy that car? Come on, we need to find somewhere to put your poo because it stinks. Good morning, guys. I love when spring comes and when summer comes because it makes me... Oh, there goes Carter's poo over my head. It makes me just want to get up and go for a morning walk with Carter. And there is no better feeling than starting your day with a morning walk. Being at one with nature, getting some fresh air, it honestly makes you just feel like ready to go for the day. I'm actually really excited for today because it's a bit of a, a me day. I'm having a nice walk with Carter. I'm gonna go to the gym and then later, my birthday was obviously like a month ago now, but my friends bought me a voucher to have a massage and a facial. So I've booked that in for today. So it's a bit of a TLC day. I did have a meeting in London booked in for 12 o'clock and I feel like I was kind of like, oh, I just wish I had a home day. And then this morning, the person I had a meeting with messaged me to say that they had a migraine, which obviously I wouldn't wish upon anyone, but um, they canceled the meeting. So I was like, great, let's get up and go for a walk. The sun is shining and let's seize the day with a nice me day. Carter's pulling me now and I really need to get rid of this dog poo because it absolutely stinks. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> it's for your block. Yeah. Oh, Meg's that? here, my favorite time, pampering time. <laughs> Guys, I just filmed a whole thing. Carter was rubbing his face all over the blankets, <laughs> thinking it was his time. Oh, I don't think he's gonna, there's no point doing it the second time. We missed it, the camera just randomly turned off. What we were saying before the camera just randomly deleted all the footage was I was saying today, Meg is doing a hot lava show. Is it a hot lava show? He doesn't want to perform now. No, I know. Oh, is he doing, look, he rubs his face <laughs> on the blankets. It's not about you, it's about me. So we're doing a lava show. Massage today, and Meg. This is what? Like the solution that's in it. This is from my client before. So we literally pop one of these in, and then like lukewarm water, and then these um, are the first self-warming massage tool. So yes, yeah, ten times more effective than the normal. Excuse me. Massage. Look at. <laughs> he loves it. It must be the oil. Oh. You get a massage yourself. But basically, guys, I love being pampered. Some people I know hate being touched, but I absolutely love being touched and being pampered. Even though some people like switch off and don't talk, me and Meg just have a good old chin wag and just, yeah, we, gossip, so we, we just gossip. Are you listening? <laughs> this is gonna heat up my muscles and then it's gonna get deep into my nuts, Carter. <laughs> All the stress I get from you. Also, Meg has come with a machine that looks like she's about to create Frankenstein. <laughs> Or that girl from Poor Girls, the new movie. I am also getting a facial. So I'm going to look like a Greek god again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I feel refreshed already. The lava shells are done. My back is back in pieces again because I literally feel like after skiing, my body was damaged. Seriously damaged. Very tight. But now we are... Nice and loose, that sounds rude, but we are nice and loose. And we've moved on to facial time. Um, I probably can't talk that much because we need to get these, this face nice looking youthful again. What's this do, Mac? So this is sound wave. So we're gonna penetrate the products 4,400 times deeper. So we're concentrating on hydration for you today. <laughs> <laughs> Your skin will just look really nice and rejuvenated, really What's hydrated. What's this that opens all the pores? So we've got different layers of our skin. So that the skin that we can see is your epidermis. And then underneath you've got your dermis, right. where all your living skin cells are. So that's what we're focusing on, the living skin cells, like your fibroblast, which works on your collagen. So it's Get really anti-aging. <laughs> Cleanse me of the dead skin. In the red bit. <laughs> are we filming? I think so. Yeah, he's got that little record in the corner. What is this again? So this is algae, so it's a really good conductor of electricity. You're not meant to talk when you've got the mask on. So once it's dry, I'm going to clip you up and you're going to have a current electric pulses through the mask and you're just going to see like little flashes, light little flashes and I'm going to give you your scalp massage while this is all on. 
We take this on for about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so what we do is wait for this bit to dry and then the machine is attached to the top of the mask. And because it's algae, it's a really good conductor of electricity. Okay, so I'm slowly gonna turn this on. You'll start seeing him about now. Mm -mm. So it's like light little flushes. The, the current's at its top now. How's that feeling for you, all right? Mm -hmm. Guys, this is the only time you normally get me to shut up is by putting this mask on, but I had to create a slip because I was trying to talk to Meg with not being able to talk, and I was going, duh, 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 duh. she was like, do you want to do a slip? And I was trying to show how to get it off, but it's so relaxing. I've had my head massage, and then what, do we peel it off now? Yes, I've literally just turned it off on the machine. I'll unclip these. So having this mask on for 20 minutes counts as a 72 hour facial massage. Do you know what I feel like? I feel like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Hello children! Today on the show children! You know where he's got like the, the imprint of the face? Yeah. Where he puts yeah. his mask on. <laughs> oh my god that feels amazing taking it off. Yeah literally like look how glowy and hydrated your skin is and you'll notice like with other facials normally people get the hot mix and they rub it all off but your skin's so absorbed nice. all of the creams and like your redness here that you had it's almost ferocious. Like what is it? Rosacea. I don't know why I keep calling on it ferocia. What the bloody hell is ferocia? <laughs> they're chocolates, aren't they? Ferrero Rocher yeah. is on my face. Oh, guys, that was amazing. I'm going to switch off for tonight now because after having that done, all I want to do is just relax and chill. While I'm trying to relax, this one, Carter, snoring. All we had was it's been pouring it down the rain, and this one. <laughs> You, Mr. Snora. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we know you're there. Have some luck. Come here. Ah, what is this? Guys, today turned out to be a disaster. We'll open it in a minute. It's for you. We're supposed to go into London today to shoot in a calf <laughs> called Positive Calf, which is basically. A calf that's all for dogs. It's got, can you sit down please? Can you sit? What, sit down? Lie down and then we'll open your thing. Right, lie down. It's all for dogs. It's got like a dog play area. It's got dog menu for food, dog drinks, everything. I saw it on the news and I really wanted to go, but the weather is so bad in London raining that I just thought it would be a disaster taking Carter into London. Kiss when it's raining. So instead, we're having a home day and I just received a part, uh, parcel. I've never had a parcel delivered to this house that is actually addressed to Carter and I don't know what it is. So I thought I'd open it with you guys. And with you, this is for you, she really open it. What is inside? Oh, oh, let's have a look. Get it out first. It's from Deliveroo. Let's have a look. That's not what it is. What is it? Wait, let me get out. Oh, let's do that. What is it? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, how cute. This is so cute. Do you know what it is? It is a, let me read the note first. It says, to Carter, you, woof, woof, woof. For those who can't speak dog, we're absolutely mutts about you. Have an excellent Easter and a perfect day. Bon appetit. All the love, your friends at Delivery. And it's a, Doggy Easter egg. Oh my God, look at that. And guys, look at this. I don't know if you can properly see it. We'll get it out in a minute. It is the Deliveroo like logo in an Easter egg. Let's get it out. One sec. Oh my God, that is so, so cute. Like incredibly cute. 
Let me just, one sec, guys. I can't eat it yet, because I want to take a picture to thank them. How cute is that? This is for you. Oh my god, that is so cute. I'll take a picture and then you can have it. So today did not go as planned, but we get a day at home together instead, don't we? We've been on a nice walk, and the funny thing is, it was pouring it down with rain, so we cancelled, and now the sun is shining. It's like one of those days where you just can't predict the UK weather. <laughs> We've come to the end of the day, we've come to the end of the week, we've come to the end of the vlog. Well, I say the end of the week, it's actually Thursday, but it's Easter weekend, so I'm gonna take the whole weekend off. Tomorrow me and Matt are going into town to play crazy golf inside, because the weather's awful, as you saw from me going into London today. And then we're gonna go for a nice dinner to have snails. I absolutely love eating snails. So we're going to a place in Soho called El Escargo, I think. I've never been before, but they serve snails, so I'm there. Um, and then the rest of the weekend, we're going to see our surrogate on Saturday and her children. I'm going to actually do a video soon to update you all on the baby stuff because we are further on forward now. So I do have an update for you all. So I'll do that maybe next week or the week after. But we're going to see her and her kids to take them all out for the day. Sunday, we're going around Matt's parents to have an Easter Sunday lunch and then Monday we're chilling. So I'm treating today really as a Friday, hence the gin and tonic. Today was a disaster, kind of. I went into London, had some really successful meetings, but got absolutely drenched because my umbrella broke. Yes, the wind broke my umbrella. So I had all the intentions to kind of film bits and bobs, but it was so miserable. I just wasn't in the mood. I got drenched. So I kind of thought, do you know what? I just want to get home, go to the gym, because I really do find that going to the gym as much as you've got to find the energy to go, when you do go and do it, you feel so good about yourself. It's a really nice kind of like tick it off, end of the day, feel good moment. So I went and did some cardio and I just feel good. And I know that's a contradiction because I've gone and done fitness and now I'm having an alcoholic beverage, but you live life once, so why not? But yes, this is the end of the vlog. I kind of feel like, I keep saying this, but this vlog has been very mismatched. I feel like Carter got his new car at the start of it and then <laughs> I kind of didn't film for the rest of the day because I was stressed from a shoot. And then there's just been bits and bobs throughout, but do you know what? I just want to pick the camera up as I go along from the week, like through the week, and just capture little moments just so I can show you guys what I get up to in the weeks. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click that thumbs up button, please. And I might actually do a Q&A soon as well. So if you guys want to comment um, any questions down in the comments box below. So put any questions you want to ask about myself, the dog, fashion, grooming, whatever. Pop them down in the comments box below and I'll do a Q&A over the next two weeks answering your questions. But for me now, cheers. I'm going to start... Oh, Gordon's gym, it tastes so good. I'm going to start my weekend. Come and say goodbye. Come here. Don't get camera shine up. No, come here. No, here. <laughs> come here. No, here. Come here. What are you being, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like, come here. Come and say goodbye. You need a bath. You smell. You smell. Oh. Whoa. Love you. Say goodbye, Paul. Give me a Paul. Give me a Paul. Cutter, Paul.